Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and we are camping in Sedona, Arizona. Can you imagine a better campsite view than what we have from ours right behind me? We're hard pressed to come up with anything that would beat that. We're gonna show you around this area of Sedona, including our camping, some hiking, and a little bit of off-road 4 x 4 on this episode, so stay tuned. So we're boondocking right off Coconino National Forest, road 525C, about eight miles or so as the crow flies due west of Sedona. This is 14 day free dispersed camping on National Forest Service land. We've got a beautiful little hideaway tucked back in here about a quarter mile from our nearest neighbor. The roads to get back here are graded. I've seen plenty of class A's and giant fifth wheels back here so you can get any size rig back here. Do keep an eye on the weather though. Uh, we weren't able to leave yesterday because it rained all night the night before and some sections of this road out here turn right to peanut butter. But if you've got good weather like we have right now and like we're going to have for the rest of this week, you can get out and enjoy some of the wonderful recreation that Sedona has to offer. We're going to bring you hiking and 4 x 4 in this episode as well as showing you downtown Sedona. But first, we'd love to show you around camp a little bit. I wanted to introduce you to some new friends. This is Ed and Ann Dombrowski. Uh, we met uh, at the RV park that I just came from in Camp Verde. 
And ironically enough, we didn't realize we were both going to be there, but we had both been communicating back and forth electronically for a couple of weeks. And that was when I discovered their channel, Homie at Large. Uh, it's a brand new channel on YouTube. These guys are doing a fantastic job. Urge you guys to check them out. We'll put a link on the screen in a moment. Uh, but Ed, why don't you explain to uh, Grand Adventures what your concept is with Homie at Large? Oh, sure. Yeah, it, it's a pretty simple concept. Um, it's basically following our travel so far. Um, Mark's been a big inspiration to us so far. We've watched Mark's videos, watched his channel, and been a subscriber for a couple of years now, well before we even thought about getting into full-time RVing. And he's been a big inspiration. Um, so, uh, yeah, so far we have some videos out there on, on different places we visited. We try to put a little unique perspective on. They do a fabulous job with, with filming and editing. It's very cinema, cinemagraphic. Uh, they, they do a fantastic job and immediately it, I hit the subscribe button as soon as I saw the first video of theirs. But yeah, just going to follow our travels uh, as we go along here and uh, see what we get into. So, Well, they're new to the full-time RV lifestyle. And uh, how's that working out for you so far? It's great. So far, so good. Love it. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Yeah. Wouldn't trade it. Yep. Fantastic. Well, you get to experience places like this. So uh, what we'll do now, like I said, I'll put a link right here on the screen. So you can go check out Homie at Large on YouTube. And uh, let's go explore Sedona a little bit. With a population of 10,000, Sedona is a city that straddles Coconino and Yavapai counties in the Northern Verde Valley of Arizona. Visitors flock to Sedona for its array of red sandstone formations that appear to glow in brilliant orange and red when illuminated by the rising or setting sun. The red rocks form a popular backdrop for many activities, ranging from spiritual pursuits to the hundreds of hiking and mountain biking trails. The first Anglo settler, John J. Thompson, moved to Oak Creek Canyon, leading north from town in 1876, and farmers and ranchers followed. In 1902, when the Sedona Post Office was established, there were only 55 residents. In the mid-1950s, the first telephone directory listed 155 names. Some parts of the Sedona area were not electrified until the 1960s. Sedona began to develop as a tourist destination, vacation home, and retirement center in the 1950s. Most of the development seen today was constructed in the 1980s and 90s. Sedona played host to more than 60 Hollywood productions, dating from the first years of movies in the 1920s into the 1990s. So we're going to go take a hike today right outside of Sedona that's a little more family friendly than what we typically embark upon. This is, I'd almost call it a suburban hike. It starts right from town and in some sections of the trail you're literally just behind neighborhoods. But it's about a three mile loop that starts with the Thunder Mountain Trail. And you can shorten that loop if you have smaller children with you. It's family friendly for kids of any age. It's also dog friendly, so we'll be bringing Zoe along. And we're also going to tag along with our friend Ed, who runs the YouTube RV channel Homie at Large. Many of Sedona's most popular trailheads are closed due to the coronavirus pandemic. 
but many others, like Thunder Mountain, remain open for outdoor recreation. It's not every hike and trail that winds past a Buddhist temple, but here in Sedona, that's not so unusual. So I'd love to bring our cameras a little bit closer to those cliffs that you see behind our camp there. And there are two ways that we can go to get there. We can head south on 525C before coming back north on 525, which seems like an awful long way around. There is a shortcut just north of us that'll cut directly across to 525, but it is marked as the Outlaw OHV Trail. Now, is it advisable to bring a full-size tundra on an OHV trail? Let's go find out. Okay, so far. Who needs the pink Jeep tours anyway? 
reaching the other end of the Outlaw OHV Trail with little more than a bit of new Rocky Mountain pinstriping, we've arrived at the base of gorgeous Red Rock Cliffs. So we truly hope that you've enjoyed coming along with us for this little taste of the Sedona area. If you like this video, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. Now we put out new outdoor travel adventure videos every single Wednesday evening. So if you're not yet a grand adventurer, this is the perfect time to go hit that little red subscribe button down there in the lower right corner of your screen and ring that notification bell so you make sure that you don't miss any grand adventure. We'd be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. And always, after every episode, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section right down below the video. Until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.